we've done is we've deployed a set of sensors to the Mount St. Helens volcano. They have the ability to recognize different kinds of events, such as seismic events, earthquakes, that are basically indications that something is happening at the volcano. So it can detect the differences between snow falling off of a branch, an animal running by, wind, a thunderstorm, and the very subtle signatures of magma moving at depth, perhaps even kilometers beneath the surface of the Earth. We have a ground component, a space component, and they are uh, working in unison, they're working in concert, and they can talk to each other and affect each other's decisions. In the context of volcano monitoring, we want to have the best educated guess to make decisions that will uh, save life and properties. Someday we'd like to deploy sensors very similar to this to Mars. That would enable us to study all kinds of interesting events at Mars, atmospheric events such as dust storms, which are sort of mini tornadoes, uh, to study uh, the freezing and thawing of the Martian ice cap, and also to study Mars quakes. These extreme environments abound everywhere in the solar system, ranging from uh, gaseous satellites such as Titan, which is one of the moons of Saturn, to a potential undersea ocean at Europa. These are all very exciting places where we would like to go to search out all of the nooks and crannies of the solar system, uh, mainly to search for life, and these kinds of sensors are exactly what will enable us to go there and explore.